Let's take an object, such as a bottle. We find that its mirror image is superimposable on the original object. The bottle is said to be achiral. Now, let's take a look at our hands. The left and the right hand are mirror images of each other. We find that the two cannot be superimposed on each other perfectly. Hands are said to be chiral. So how does chirality play a role in drug development? Molecules, drugs, can also be chiral. A drug with a chiral center exists in two forms which are mirror images of each other. The two forms are called enantiomers, denoted by an S or an R, and are non-superimposable. It is observed that sometimes the two enantiomers of a drug have dissimilar pharmacological properties and can behave like different compounds. Formulating a drug containing the beneficial enantiomer can have possible advantages. For some chiral drugs, given as racemic mixtures, only one of the enantiomers is responsible for the efficacy. A chirally pure compound ensures that no inactive enantiomer is administered. This will increase the potency and similar effect might be achieved at a lower dose than the dose of the racemic mixture, thereby increasing the potency of the chirally pure compound. It is also observed that for some chiral compounds, one of the enantiomers has a greater tendency to produce adverse events. A chirally pure compound which excludes the adverse events causing enantiomer makes the treatment safer. Similarly, enantiomers could have different pharmacokinetics, and a chirally pure compound containing the enantiomer with favorable pharmacokinetics could improve dosing regimen and treatment. The contraction of actin and myosin in the vascular smooth muscle cells require calcium, which enters the cell through the L-type calcium channel. Amlodipine binds to a pocket on the L-type calcium channel and blocks it, thereby restricting the entry of calcium into the cell. This causes vasodilation of the smooth muscle, resulting in decrease in peripheral resistance and blood pressure. Turns out, amlodipine is a chiral compound. The S enantiomer is responsible for the blocking of L-type calcium channel, and R enantiomer has very little activity. Formulating a chirally pure compound using S amlodipine reduces the pill size by half, thereby doubling the potency with no loss in the efficacy. It has also been observed that the R enantiomer has a greater tendency for adverse events, such as pedal edema. Discarding the R enantiomer to make a chirally pure compound containing S amlodipine makes the treatment safer. Owing to these advantages of greater potency and safety, clinicians across the globe are increasingly treating their patients with S amlodipine.